had a wonderful Memorial Day. If you had any veterans that you know, I uh, hope you honored them. If not, you know, honor them. That's anyways. But yeah, we are here doing MSM every week. Be sure to follow the stream because we're starting to do like more variety things. So if you just want to see more of the 2G gang, you know what to do. You follow them on Twitter. Follow 2G Gaming on YouTube to get all these VODs. Yeah, I would actually be curious about what you would all like to see more on this channel. I know we have a couple ideas until this whole quarantine stay at home blows over. And from what I understand, we're still not going to be able to open up events for for a bit but yes again thank you for tuning in thank you for everyone who's followed uh we see them pop up in the screen it's just it's too much going on to really give everyone a shout out but we do notice it we do appreciate it thank you very much uh, and of course, everyone who subbed or resubbed, big thanks. We appreciate all the support we get. Uh, so let's jump into loser semis. You know, we still got quite a bit to go. We have this match. Winner's gonna play Mysterica, and then after that, we have Grayson sitting in Grand Finals, who played very well in Winner's Finals. If you did not have a chance to see it, I would definitely go back uh, to check that out. You know, either check it out on the vods or on YouTube. Right, here we go. Tony's a tank and Gayo. No surprise who Gayo is starting. Um, Gayo, of course, has like a plethora of characters that he can choose from, but usually when it comes to push and shove, uh, you see the pits come out. Ooh, that windup. It's a good windup from Tony's a tank. Now, typically we've been seeing like Tony play aggressive throughout the event, but I think with uh, the recent sets that he's had to play, he's starting to pull back a little bit more. Yeah, I don't think it's so much a, an adaptation to, to Gayu as it is just playing so long in the event and you know what? It's time to win. You want the W, you gotta play a specific way. And right now that's forcing That's forcing Gayo to, to be the one that has to pick options and play the guessing game. He's doing a really good job of just actually like using these arrows to I think this is kind of like a match we've actually seen before between Gayo. Yeah, I think we've actually seen these two play. Yeah, I mean, one thing that stays consistent with Gayo's pits are the way that he used the orbiters to recover. You see him always trying to either recover low or land on the stage using the down B just because it pushes the opponents away. It allows it to land for free. Yeah, it stops things like back air, neutral air, you know, things, I'm, I'm sorry, Sonic hit back air and neutral air. Yeah, I'm not surprised to see the fact that like, Gaia will pick out you know, one of his best characters to definitely go for. I think this is definitely, honestly, a pit matchup for Gaia versus something like you would see Hero. Uh, of course, at a high percent, the neutral air will have enough mass back to actually send out, you know, uh, Dark Pit into the skies. Seeing a couple more arrows, like Gaia's trying to get something in. Started. He's able to land the side B at the side stage, especially like 100 plus percent. Should be enough to take a stock. I think once again, like he's looking to use. I think this might be one where he might switch to regular pit over dark pit. But we'll see. I think the only reason why he'd want to change characters is just because of blast zones, where the horizontal blast zone plane is much shorter for things like, you know, side special which is the upper dash arm. 
but we'll see how it goes so far. Nice neutral air into the drag down. Nice on the catch there on the platform. Sees the fact that Tony wanted to immediately try to get out of there with a uh, homing attack, but executes perfectly. Ooh, of course, now here we go with the approach once again from Tony. Only approaching to the platform and then now playing, taking a more defensive role. Yeah, which is like, you know, I think that's what Tony was looking for is that comfort to finally burst in and get that damage. I mean, he sees he has a lead, 33% and three minutes on the timer, right? Like, you can see he's really, really content there. So I think it's up to Dale to kind of like find an opportunity where he can make Tony feel unsure of himself to go for something like Spin a Dash or even just try to wait. But every time I've seen Tony go for Spin Dash, and he crosses up Gale. Nine times out of ten, I've always seen him go for something like that or afterwards. That's right. Does the clock say 2.30 on it? <laughs> yep, it does. And both these players are like mid percents on second stock. Oh boy. Yo, Warch, you can strap yourself in. It's going to be another 30 minute set. I'm Boys, we, we, Look we, at we that get... F smash. <laughs> Tony overheard you, man. Tony was like, all right, Fly, I know you want to go to bed. I got you. Bro. I got you, bro. <laughs> you know, that's why I'm a fan of Tony. Big fan of the uh, making sure that we get to bed at a at a decent hour. I've already lost my sleep playing an aggro now. Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> I already lost my sleep schedule. I accept it. There is no running away from it anymore. Being a running away, we saw Tony is starting to run away with this lead. He's doing this like drift back with uh, the spin dash. He, like he uses the first jump, drifts back a little bit, and then unleashes. It's just uh, a little bit of micro spacing from Tony's tank, but it seems to be enough to actually mess up Gayo's reactions. Yeah. Oh no, miss side to be there, and unfortunately on the on the way back. Not able to get side B. I kind of question that side special coming up from Gale. He should have just gone for a McNither, honestly. I think at this point, Gale is just kind of frustrated. He sees the time. He's like, you know what? Totally got two full stocks. I don't. I feel like, you know what? I don't want to stress my mentality on this one. I'm just going to run it and it's whatever. And I'll really, really try the next game. The brain off. It's a bold strategy. Honestly, it is. Because like some, we've even seen some of the top players at the high level like just say, you know what? I'm gonna shut my brain off on this one, and I'll just play it through, or I'll just, you know, SD, and then I'll come back with more of a refresh mind and, you know, a better game the next time around. Yeah, I and mean, you can see it from Gale, like he just threw it away. It's a good play. It's honestly a good call. Just to just say, you know, I'm gonna shut it down. Let's come back next one. You know what? You can have this one, whatever. The more time I waste fighting Sonic, the more aggravated and some, and, you know, uh, the more aggravated somebody can get in general, and they can lose their cool, get tunnel vision. It's a whole mentality barrier that gets broken. And if you just tell yourself, you know what, or like, just lose this one, whatever, then you'll be fine the next game. More, more or less. Uh, we may be seeing a counter pick. Actually, you know, what? I'm too, I'm too impatient to actually like wait for the character select. I'm a. Oh yes. <laughs> We're gonna get a. I only pop like... off for one character. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> from, at least from Gayo. <laughs> I, I was like, I hope we're not popping off for the Sonic Ditto. <laughs> no, I, I, I actually might pop off for the Sonic Ditto just because it's happening, not because it's. I'm excited to see it. But no, I'm always excited to see the hero come out from Gayo. Uh, man. We have the RNG factor, of course, that's going to play a part in this game, but if the hero's going to have access to the side B, it's going to have decent range, especially if it's a level 1 or 2. Uh, and then if Tony continues to pressure Gayo's shield, up B at a shield is also going to be an option. <laughs> yeah. And even then, like, one thing that Gayo can do at a shield that's pretty solid, um, because it hits below and it hits on the sides at a, at a pretty decent range, is as you see right there earlier, um, you can up the out of shield with Hero. It's one of his best out of shield options, honestly. And it's a pretty good out of shield option. It's really good to kind of get your opponent away from you. It sends them away. It does decent damage. You just have to make sure you have enough uh, magic power. 
Your magic points to actually execute it. Going out the whack. I like it. He bursts in immediately too. He sees like you know what he's gonna. He might have to jump. He went for an aerial. Unfortunately, you know Tony's not. Gonna, Tony's no chump. Doesn't fall for it. Nice, good zoom. He's still gonna jump too afterwards. Yeah, so we're gonna make sure that Tony uh, has one three chance of, of guessing where Gay is gonna land. Nice, recovers back with a B. I mean, like, this is pretty much even game too. Unfortunately, though, the first stock is gonna go to Tony. And that's what he kind of wants, right? To take the first block. Wow! The fact that Sonic has enough speed to actually outrun something like Kaboom is pretty big. Yeah, that's crazy. Like, usually we see the wind box play a huge role in Kaboom and really throws off Gao's opponents. Uh, Gao's Kabooms are usually successful. So for yeah. Tony to survive unscathed, that's, that's huge. Yep, and Kaboom does have the biggest wind box in the game. And it's a vacuum hitbox, so it's gonna definitely bring you in here. Nice, looking for the accelerator here to kind of try to challenge Gay a little bit in terms of speed. Nice, gets hit with the neutral air, 59%, two to two. Yeah, you know, now we got the yeah, that was just, going on. That was raw, that was like 38% off the bat. Yeah, it wasn't even a crit or anything, that was just straight power. Yeah, that just goes to show, like, that's, that's a warning for Tony. If you want to keep playing this way, there is nothing wrong. But unfortunately, that wind-up punch will find its way into Gale's face. And yeah, that wasn't the, even like a two-frame or anything. That was just nope. waiting out the vulnerability of the directional air dodge. Okay, here we go. Big attack. Yep, and that's gonna kill. That's gonna kill. And it's good on him to actually... I think that's one thing we've been seeing from, from Gale. Every time he goes for an opportunity on the magic choice selections, he's usually in the air so he can get... Always something like sleep or kisses, and as we've seen, kaboom. So, yeah, it's really gonna be up to Tony to uh, estimate like how much room he's giving Gayo to to work with this menu. Look at that level three side B still caught Tony, like even though he was pretty much off stage. It actually has the biggest, it has the biggest range uh, out of all the moves aside from Magic Burst. Uh, but it also has an armor as well, or vulnerability after a certain time, so you have to be careful, you have to really respect it. Accelerate on once again, low and green. We're seeing Gale jump all over the stage. We're seeing up there, is he gonna chase with up air? Oh no, he doesn't. Nice, he was hunting for him though, he was hunting. Yeah, I mean, Tony didn't even allow him to, to really uh, have that option. He immediately sprung up, saying, guess what? You may have hops, but I'm out. Yeah. We ain't getting up here. Nice back air. And that back air has that low arc that can actually really hit Sonic, especially in a lot of characters that move about as well. Nice! I love the empty hop movement. And then with the last second, he goes from side to me just because he knew he was able to empty hop in, kind of like give Tony a little bit of the run around and then hits him for that last hit, turning Gale a 1 1. You gotta really watch out for those side Bs. Level 1, level 2, they come out so fast. Yeah. And level 3 is the most dangerous one. It has the most knockback and kill as early as 40%. Even, I think, 20 at the ledge has invincibility um, if you're trying to hit, you know, hero in the middle of once it's, like, activated after a certain point. So you have to really be careful. I, I You know, I said Pit was the best choice, but Z-Fly, your hype is in the right place. I think this hero is putting in money. It was always the right choice for Gale. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's not I don't bad. know why. Like, I know his pit's good. He's got, he's got a couple other characters, but every time I see Hero come out for Gale, it's like, I, at any point, Gale can just reverse and take the game. Yeah, he's he's literally, yeah. It's, it's as you said, man. That that hero puts in money, dude. He's literally the money maker. He pays the bills. He puts them on the map. Shoot, he even won him an MSM online, so we'll see. We'll see here. Game three. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> of course, you're kind of stuck a little bit in the sauce of the magic selection here. Oh, the list game is still alive. Yeah. 
Okay, a nice. B out of shield, yep. The best, literally, it's the best option. No, Mr. App. I kind of like how, like, Gale is, in a sense, the way that you would see a Sonic charging the dash. Gale is charging neutrally just because he knows, like, that, the bigger it gets, the more damage it does do, but the size of it as well. And if, and if, uh, Tony tries to come with Spin Dash, unfortunately, he won't clank with the biggest version of, uh, of neutral B, so. He's even going, we're starting to see Gale utilize the, the falling side B a little bit more. I mean, it's what he clutched out game one with. Yeah. Now, like, even in neutral, we're starting to see it. Nice, using Fizz. Holds Tony a little bit in place here on Smash. Close, but unfortunately, uh, Tony was not going to try to grab the ledge, but still good, good, good call from Bayo. Okay, you know, he really wanted to make sure there was some kind of threat there. Falling up air into a forward air. Ooh, okay, healing up a little bit of damage. Speaks in the heal. Get the yep. buff. Two buffs? Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's one dead hedgehog. <laughs> Yeah, and he just went for it. Like that was there was no like big brain, there was no like him empty hopping the other neutral exchange down. He just went in raw. Chase the hero games begins. See like Gale's really trying to utilize these high platforms on the side to his advantage. Cycle through the menus when he can. And if he needs to uh, if he needs to land Watch out for those side beats. It connects the forward air after the spin dash. You see the zoom power coming in, and KO is safe again. Yeah. Careful. Yeah, I was gonna say neutral air. If he gets hit by early on, the knockback will be enough to take care of the stock. Good, oh. good use on the snooze. Good use. Yeah, he had snooze and whack there, so I think as soon as Tony saw that, he immediately knew he needed to jump. Both of them travel at like a horizontal uh, projectile, so just don't land in front of them. Like, landing in front of, of Hero wasn't an option anymore. Nice, solid choice for balance, just because, you know, if there is going to be the sprinter on you, you don't have to worry about it anymore. Especially for off stage. Wow, one for Bang, not enough to steal. 116, put him on a kill percent and the four there. Gail looking to tell Tony, you know what, if you wanted a three stock, buddy, I got one coming up for you if you just let me have the chance. 182% really going to allow Tony uh, access to a lot of tools that will take the stock back here. Seems to be uh, one of the more reliant tools that we see Tony abuse. Yeah, I, I think it's one of Sonic's best skill options, too. Oh, for sure. The back, the back air is so strong, even from Smash 4. Like, the knockback is ridiculous. Really I see, really like, the, the amount of times that we see Tony, like, land the back air and utilize it as a kill option, uh, so he's really proficient in it. Yeah. I would expect any any prominent Sonic main Tondos to get proficient with back air. It's, it's the best the best move he has. It's one of the best moves he has. All right, once again, now we see two very fast characters moving about the screen. I'm sorry, this reminds me, look, this is really, really old. I'm going to end this time as soon as possible, but the old <laughs> the old Sonic Adventure 2 Battle commercial on the GameCube was literally the announcer saying there's two hedgehogs moving fast on the screen. And that's what you just reminded me of. Once, once though, Gale looking for the charge here. Good read on the landing on top there. Gets the up smash, of course. Up um, smash doesn't have any side hit boxes like Mark's would. It's just a direct top uh, move. You literally have to make sure your opponent is going to be above you. You're going to hit it. And there is the boot. 2 1 moving on here. Gale, that was a call out. That was an oomph boot, too. Yeah. You see that boot, man? I'm telling you, that boot. I see the heel, it is thick, and the leather is thin. I'm telling you, that heel hurts. So yeah, Gao definitely gonna move up 2-1 here against Tony the Tank. Gonna give Tony a little bit of a run for his money here. I mean, Tony was able to get the game five against Mariguas, so we'll see how things go here. I mean, it's not over for Tony just yet, but Gao looking to find the remedy to put 
Tony in a little bit on the back foot here with the lead. The what? What is it going to be? What is game four going to be? Are our stage? No character changes. Ready? That makes sense, you know. Smashville stage that's a little bit—it's not as wide as the, the previous stages we've been playing on. So it should allow Tony his opportunity to rush Three, down Hero two, and not one, give Gayo as much time to to cycle through the menus. Yeah. Nice. And because the Thunder does come up from above, just like Thor's would, he was able to actually stop Sonic to actually try to cross him up there. Yes. Gale starting off fresh here with 54% already, but he's got some 54% to himself too as well. Good back air from Tony. He's going to keep Gale off the stage. Nice forward throw. No magic selection. I like that Gale playing a little bit more aggressive here. You're looking to just see the fact that Sonic is off the stage. 75. I got 80. I can put him in his place if I just get the right aerial in time. I like Air that. I... S-Mash from Tony. Oh, no. I was going to say I was close call, but he was looking for the zoom, too. Of course, if you guys don't know, um, zoom, higher percent chance if you're off stage for you to actually get it. Versus you being on Oh, is he gonna actually magic burst? Okay, I thought Gay was actually gonna magic burst, but I, I feel like you should have gone for it because that would have definitely caught like Tony off guard. He hasn't gone for it yet, and the range would have been big enough. Of course, the damage range and the and the burst itself is determined by how much magic power. So if you have a hundred, it's gonna be the biggest. If you have less than that, it's gonna be smaller. And I think he was only at about half mana too, so I don't know if it actually would have caught Tony off guard. No, yeah. Would have been able to escape. Nice. Directional air dodge forward to try to avoid the forward air. Yeah, unfortunately getting caught in the trap that Tony has set up and getting hit with another forward air. Tony with the lead. This is going to be one of those matchups that I just tell people off. Sometimes I feel it's even just because the fact that, yes, Sonic is faster and, of course, Hero. Hero's starting frames are not that great, but it's the fact that like Sonic can take his time, but Hero can take his time to get the right, you know, the right amount of selection here in the chart. So if he gets the right option, something like you know, the way that Gale's been playing, the tide can turn very, very quick. With the psycho that's currently active on on Gale, uh, Gale's gonna have act like all the aerials will probably kill, up throw will probably kill. Oh yeah, and that's what Tony understands too. He's doing a really good job of just trying to get in. Up throw, yep, like you mentioned in Z5, that's gonna kill. Yep, and now, oh, trying to get with a quick zoom to just get rid of the invulnerability and just time it out, but Tony able to get a grab. That would have been good too, because it's very similar to like you starting from an angel platform. You reset up so high that you have enough time to like worry about, not worry about the invincibility that, you know, Tony would have gotten from the angel platform. So it, I was good on him, but unfortunately the starting frame is not there. Air connects and now Tony puts Gay on the right side of the stage once again. Yeah. Yeah. A good parry, but unfortunately not able to parry anything else. Gets it into the sky. Tony up to 170 percent. Ladies and gentlemen, we got three minutes and 45 seconds on the clock. If there's going to be a game five, man, I I put bets on Tony probably getting it. But we'll see. Gayo has still a lot to do. Not enough shield damage. On that side, especially if I were if if I were Gale here, you know, maybe maybe letting this one go may not be in the cards, but he ha kind of has to see how the rest is gonna play out. Side B or the fully charged side B doesn't do a lot of shield damage, just like considering how powerful it is. Yeah. Oh, tough spot. Yeah, that's a tough spot. It's the fact that up special only sends you forward. And I, I feel like at that point, Gale had understood, like, you know what? I'm just going to up special, toss this one away, too, as well. If I get hit, if I get hit, if I don't, if I don't. 
I can try to get some more RNG, but that was a good call from Gary on the way. I, I kind of have to give him respect. It's a tough spot to be in. There's nothing he can do, but hope that he gets zoomed. He didn't get zoomed twice. Um, so just going for the second that special, and if he got hit, he got hit. Game five, ladies and gentlemen. Like I mentioned it, Tony found himself a game five. Couldn't have put him past him and get another. Gale, probably looking at some stage choices here, but also maybe a character switch. We'll see how it goes. I feel like, inside of this one game, the hero was just so strong, but you know what? It's time to bring in the goddess. We had a we had a set with just about every set leading up to to now having Palutena in it. So why not? Let's include the goddess one more time. Yeah. And then if, if Tony wins again, he'll have to play another Palutena. Ah, that's funny. It's Sonic versus the world, man. Sonic versus the goddess. This is, this is, this is. <laughs> okay, so Smashville is the stage, and considering what just happened in game two and how aggressive like Tony was playing, it's probably what Gayo wants, or the playstyle that Gayo wants Tony to take. Yeah, I, I feel like that's what is this character choice is, honestly, but we'll see. I mean. I still feel the hero was doing really, really well by the fact that, like, you do have better options, better damage, better rub. Better, slightly better than green, I would say, with Palutena in terms of combos. Like, goes to show why Gale picked this character. I mean, I'm just gonna guess that the that the larger stages were, were banned, and that's why uh, Gale just opted to run it back here with a different character. Yeah. I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, would've, I would've invited Hero, too, because... A smaller stage choice, meaning Tony has less space to escape a lot of hero's options. You know, but we'll see. We'll see. I mean, 100% here. I'm, I'm looking at Gale, and I'm hoping he can pull something out of the hat. But yeah, well, Tony's. I mean, his aggressive style is really pretty much put double the damage onto Gale that Tony currently has. Look at that. Even auto reticles not seeming like a safe choice from cross stage as Gale or Tony's able to spin dash underneath it. Yeah, it's oh, not that was a big coinc wind -up. coincidentally it's not fast enough. <laughs> it may be fast, but it's not fast enough, Sonic. Up smash, that's gonna get punished. Let's get back throw and yep. Get yeeted out of here. Nice scale taking some time on the angel platform, maybe gathering some thoughts. Nice, good double jump here. A little bit of a mix up. There is the side special. Good call out here. Nice back air at 135. The explosive flame, the force, the low recovery. I would have preferred if Gale was more towards the ledge to so try to go for a ledge guard or an edge guard or a trump, but I think sacrificing that much stage control well, just kind of opened it up to get here to 96%. Really? Just look throwing out. Like, oh, just continuing no. to get punished over and over with Spin Dash, and then Tony, of course, maximizing the damage from Spin Dash. Yeah, if you're if Gay is your hero, it's not looking good. Okay, I... I mean, obviously that wasn't going to take the stock, but I appreciate what, what Tony was going for. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to make the hype play. Okay, F Smash connects. Maybe, the, maybe this is the momentum start that Gayo needed. Are you getting scooped up? I mean, Another he's still got there. two stocks to fight for. Yep. We'll see. But, I mean, those big plays, like that down air that we just saw from, from Gayo, he's trying to make this happen. There's one more? Yeah, 76%. Okay, landing there, just barely whiffing it around Tony. And up, run up, up smash, okay. Getting scooped up by the spin dash. Yeah, Gale's gotta be careful when he comes back. Nice. Looks will get up. Doesn't doesn't do anything too risky. Tony continues to take his time with his approach against Gayo. Oh, going down the oh. stage. Forfeiting his stock. Oh no! <laughs> Huge for for Gayo. Needed to make some type of comeback and play right there. Uh, 
Fortunately for Gayo, Tony just kind of gave it to him, but whoa, okay, going real high up in the sky. Landing forward there, only able to put a little bit of damage in. F tilt's gonna put. These numbers continue to rise as these stray hits land on Tony. Nair lands again and reaching up. Okay, Rage Palutena. Don't forget that. That up air can kill. Yeah, 101, 88. Whoa. No way. Whoa. What? I, I, the minute I saw him run up to him, full swing, that's when I literally just called my whoa. Because I was like, he's going to do it. <laughs> he's going to do it. 